So I thought I would have a go at the leading edge. I'm going to do in sections one, two, three, four. The idea of that is to keep the grain as going as lengthwise as possible. If the grain goes like across it, for instance, it would snap easily. It's got to go lengthwise, but as it goes around the corner, so the so the grain changes. So I'm going to make four separate pieces and glue them together. Easy peasy. One down to there. And I'm making it out of this one eighth balsa. on to a bit there. Nice join. They look reasonable joints. Okay, so there's one leading edge. That's a special shape. It really is. Well guys, I made it. I've got two pairs of leading edges sandwiched up and drying under the weights. I'm making up the triangular blocks. So of one solid sheet, I've made up a little bit of ply and some balsa and another bit of ply on to go on the top. All right, I've stuck these plywood plates on, made a bit of a pig's ear of it, but never mind. It's stuck, that's the main thing. And I've just offered up a couple of um, spare bits of spar just to see how it's looking. Wicked or what? Let's sit it on the fuselage. Looks like a sort of <laughs> looks like um bow, bow and arrow bow, doesn't it? You can see before you um, the leading edges have come out quite well. They're quite stiff as well, and I've glued on the triangular block and I've just offered up and just cutting some of the spars so that one goes in there like that and I'm going to cut another one just cut the end ones here that one goes I'll glue onto there like that so that's the sort of shape of things to come the question is shall I glue these in um, perhaps I ought to sand the leading edge first oh what I was going to show you is this came today it's, um, it's called a leopard from Leopard Hobby. Um, they've got a huge website actually. But this motor is the smallest one they do. It's a 2030 5160 kV. Uh, beautiful little motor. It comes with, they sent their catalogue as well. Component, ah, uh, yes, that's right. www.componentshop.co.uk. I want to put the motor and battery. I'm going to run this on a 2S. 2S, I've got 1300s, something like that will sit in there easily. Before I see a carbon, I always just like to rough it up a little bit just to give it a little bit of a bite microscopically. Uh, I don't like rubbing my hands on it so I just wipe it in a tissue and you see that, that would be in your skin. So you don't want that. Let's put a little bit extra in there like that. Right, just put that on there. Get it level and flat. And if I could put a drip in there as well. Okay, and push it in there. In. There's one wing built. <laughs> Look at that. Oh well. That looks really nice. Um, just thinking though, the inside edge. Do I need another support down there? I might do. Might have to drill that and put a another two mil down there to support the root. Easily done though. Look at that. <laughs> What I was thinking was some sort of box to slot this wing into like that. And that would hold it nice and square and hard in there. Maybe just take a little nick out of the side. 
another rod going across there like that to hold things in. Uh, could bind that with a little bit of cotton and CA. That would go into the fuselage and then maybe one bound from there to there. I've also had an idea for the undercarriage as well. I'll put on a Leonardo da Vinci style undercarriage, not just the man's legs, by the way. So we'll get that to one side, but I've definitely got to make up a, a box. And I've made a tube, put that slide in there like that. Quite a tight fit for the minute. Um, but I'm going to cut it in half and then that, that tube will mount on the angles and sit back at the correct angle. That's the theory anyway. And there's my dihedral brace box. Now, it's going to go there. It's going to go there, approximately. And that box will sit on top of there. Quite chunky, isn't it? It's got to be, though. Oops, let's just put it down for a minute. Let's just put it there. I mean, the only reason it's up there and not in the fuselage is for the battery pack. Unless I put the battery pack. So I might find that the centre of gravity is, is tail heavy and you know, the battery goes there, which is fine. If that's the case. I wonder if I could make the wing slideable. Anyway, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. Let's just offer it up. Let's just need a weight on there. A weight, a weight, a weight. Just want to see what it all looks like. Wing there. The tail plane back here. Let's wedge it up. <laughs> looks amazing. It just looks like it wants to be a little bit longer, that's all. So I can at this stage move it forward if necessary. Let's get that out of the way, right? Could move that up to there if necessary. That looks kind of better. That, in fact, if I did that, I could put the battery there, the motor in front. Yeah, maybe I'll bring the wing forward, which means the um, trailing edge comes forward. So it'll be about where that cross member is. So, let's put that out of the way a minute. Put that there. Take it off. Just put that there. How about that? Now that looks a little bit more like it. Hmm. I know you can't see much. I'll show you. Interesting shape. Hi right, guys. I think I goofed on a bit of my recording earlier. Is um. <clears throat> I used the rear camera instead of the front camera. It happens, so I'm not sure how much you haven't seen of this before I um, go into too much detail, but um, I've altered the design a little bit. This was the top, this is now the bottom. The battery is gonna be underneath like that, and it gives me that full length to play with the CRG, because so I've actually no idea where the CRG is gonna be. This is um, the motor housing, it's one mil ply uh, wrapped around the motor which is here um, that goes in there like that and then the motor's completely vanished and looks all wood which is great now that will go on there like that I've got to decide exactly where I'm going to mount the motor I've got a cunning plan to to um, dress up the front of this a little bit so that will go like that probably put the ESC down underneath as well. The battery makes sense. Um, the wing is going to sit. Where's my wing? There we are. Let's take that out of there. The wing tube is going to sit there. 
I've got to cut the slots now for that to go in with a slight rake back to give me some angle of attack. And this will be the driver's compartment. <laughs> uh, back here will be servos, uh, probably with a little lid on or something to disguise those. So it's coming together quite nicely. I've got to put another carbon spar going back to form uh, the first rib. So I've got, got nothing to attach the covering to. Um, still thinking about the covering, but Alexis down in Oz has given me a, a, a couple of really good ideas which I'm going to act upon tomorrow. Uh, hopefully that will come to fruition. So thanks for that, Alexis. And I thought I'd put a little bit of down and side thrust in because I haven't glued the tube in yet. So I can just bend, bend it down and to the right slightly just to give me a little bit of offset. So I'm just drilling the holes for the rear Uh, trailing edge so that should go now something like now do I put that under or over let's put it um, like that so that goes so my plan is to fix it um, maybe not um, maybe not glue it into there it goes in quite a long way got to hold itself there but the plan is to fix it to here 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 and here using just cotton and CA best part of using cotton on there like that on the joins is actually simulates what Leonardo would have used which is great and it should be quite a strong joint this is just such a different sort of construction you know you're following in the footsteps of pioneers here this is great i think that's one wing built oops <laughs> I put the wrong end in Just take it down a little bit, won't it? Stick it on the bottom and sort of wrap it around the top. Okay, there we are, that looks good. Fuse lines will come out just the same. Hinges I'm using is fishing line, one millimeter. Um, what they called it. Flexi shock quality shock leader. So it's 118 pound breaking strain, one millimeter, which is the perfect diameter for hinges. Here's a bit. I shall just cut that, push that in, and a little blob of CA, and that's a perfect hinge. Okay, I found a nice pair of wooden control horns. Perfect, and I've just put the one millimeter fishing line in. I made a pinhole, and then I ran through with the miniature um, drill bit. So, what I'm not going to do is to put CA on all of these, and then just try and find the holes. I'm going to. I've made sure they fit. It goes nice. So, what I'm going to do is pull it out, 
put some CA on and push them back in. And we go dob, dob, dob and push. Dob, dob, dob. There we go. Oops. Push, push, push. A quick work to make sure I got full throw. Lovely. So that's the tailplane finished. I've made a pair of wheels, spoked wheels, and some little bearers. A couple of bits of carbon, that's all, but the whole lot's been made from the Fokker a DR1 build, just little bits left over. So I thought I'd make a couple of wheels. And I've made up a very simple uh, undercarriage for the Leonardo flyer. You can see the pegs aren't part of it. They'll come off as soon as the epoxy dries. But very simple undercarriage in the Leonardo style. And then the wheels will go uh, whichever way they go, sort of on like that, making a sort of very simple sort of cart type undercarriage. Not really happy with that fin shape, it just looks wrong with the wing, so I'm thinking of cutting it to that shape. It's more bat like as well, isn't it? A bit more. Well, just, just a bit more, isn't it? I know it's reducing the area somewhat, but. I think it's going to be worth the risk. Just painted up the fuselage, a bit of stain. I think it looks suitably wooden now. It's looking more like a crossbow every minute. <laughs> yeah. Just got some details to put on around the front end. I think I will cut that, you know. I think it's quite a wicked shape that. Let's do it. You have it. Look at that. Wow. That looks uh, fantastic, I think. Really happy with that. It's coming on.